and Natalie on 90 Fiance end up getting back together and two days later after Mike dumped her, they get married. Oh my god, you guys. Finally, we finally know the truth. We can finally talk about what happened because in the last episode of 90 Fiance, we got to see Mike dump Natalie. In the middle of a freaking pandemic, he told her, look, we have like three or four or five days left till your visa expires and we have to get married or you're going to be illegal here. But he said, look, I'm done. I've had enough. You have to go home. I cannot marry you. Well, now thanks to a spoiler by Tamara, literally Mike's neighbor on Facebook, she spilled the beans. I don't want to waste any more time. So here is what actually went down. And I have to thank one of my very loyal and kind subscribers for sending me this screenshot. This is from Tamara's Facebook. She posted this right there. Someone asking her, did they actually call it off? That they being, you know, Mike and Natalie, Tamara, Mike's neighbor responded and said, yes, but they got married two days later. And then Tamara said, love you and blah, 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 with some other crap. So that was basically it. Meaning that yes, they did break up. I was not lying. Everyone was saying, no, they, no, they literally broke up. Mike dumped her. Mike got her a ticket to France. We got to see in a sneak peek for the next episode that Mike literally bought her a ticket to France. And you're probably saying, well, France, she's from Ukraine. But that is the deal. I guess the Ukrainian border was closed at that time, but the French one, I guess, wasn't. So she was going to go there and then try to either train or bus or possibly fly into Ukraine from there. So that was their plan. They were packing their bags and we got to see in this little bit of a sneak peek that Mike said, I'm sorry, I just can't do this. I can't go forward with this. This is this. There's nothing I can do. And Natalie was calling him a monster. She was calling him the worst. She was saying, what if I leave here and go get sick and it's your fault? Now, I 100% totally do not think that Mike and Natalie have any business whatsoever getting married. They are god they are a god awful couple. Come on. We can all agree on that. They have no business being together. The thing I will say though on Mike's behalf is dude, you probably knew this whole entire 90 days you did not you had no intentions of really truly marrying her. If you did think that, why did you wait until one of the last days? Couldn't you have told her a week or maybe even two weeks? And I, I for sure, I can guarantee you guys, Natalie would have been mad if you told her a week ago, she'd be just as mad. If he told her two weeks ago, she would be, you know, probably just as mad. But if you tell her a little bit more advanced that you're not really feeling it and you want her to go home, at least you can kind of save face and you can justify it that, hey, you have some time, we can plan it, we can get you a trip, and it's not as bad as it is now. But as of now, they have like three, four, five days left till her visa expires. She's literally running out of time. She needs to leave and she can't go anywhere because the border is closed. So it's pretty freaking crazy. And that is just the deal. We got to see and Natalie say bye to Uncle Bo. She gave him a hug. Uncle Bo said, well, hey, I wish you well and let's keep in touch. And Natalie just said, no, I won't be keeping in touch with you. So I'm done with her. I do feel bad that he kind of dropped this bombshell on her like that with only a couple days left. But I think no matter what, she'd be furious and mad and calling him a monster. And that is just kind of that. But according to the neighbor, Tamara, what sounds like is the plan was Tamara was going to drive Natalie to Seattle and then they can stay in a hotel and then she can get the plane to go to France. That was the plan. But like she said on Facebook, that two days later, they end up getting married. So I don't even know if they end up leaving. I don't know if they end up going to Seattle, but one way or another, they do end up getting married two days later. So if you've seen their marriage certificate, you know, riddled around this whole 90 Day Fiance drama and Reddit and everything, it is true. It is real. They do get married. And that brings me to my next point that there was a big rumor from Katrina, who is the owner of Frauded Media on Instagram. I think it's, it's Frauded Media. It was frauded by TLC. I know where it's frauded by TLC. Now it's Frauded Media. So I believe that's it but she did share that there was a possibility for sure that Jovi and Yara, because spoiler alert, it sounds like they do end up being together, spoiler alert, but they do, and they're going to be on the next season of Happily Ever After, 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, and I've heard a rumor from a handful of people that Mike and Natalie might be on it too. And all I'm going to say is this, real quick, y'all can comment below, but if they are going to be on it, oh, I'm just... Oh. Really? Can't we just, can't we have a break? That's all I'm gonna say. I don't, I, I really don't mean to harp on them. I wish these two well, I guess. I'm just, they're the constant fighting and the nagging and, you know, she's mad, he's mad. They're never gonna be happy. It just, it's kind of weighing on me and I, I would love a fresh start. Maybe a couple we haven't seen in a while. Like, just a, I don't even know, a random different couple we have not seen in a while. Mike and Natalie, eh, why are we just, we just spent the last however long with these two. If they're gonna be on the next season, it's gonna be freaking boring. And we, we saw them before too. So, I 
hope we don't see them, but if we do, that's kind of just the rumor. And while we are on the 90 Day Fiance train, let's keep this train going because we have more news. The one thing I want to talk about really freaking quick, and that would be Colt and Vanessa, because if you are not watching 90 Day Fiance Single Life, I said it a few days ago, I'm telling y'all one thing, this season is going to start getting pretty good. The first couple episodes kind of sucked. I will be the last to lie. They were not very good in my opinion, but they're starting to get kind of better because now all these single people like Ed and Colt and Danielle, they're actually starting to date. And now Colt is dating, guess who? Vanessa, which let me just say, she is literally 300 million times more attractive than Colt. I'm not saying Vanessa is some, you know, smoke show, so don't you dare go in the comments and say I have a crush on her, but I am going to say this. Colt is, and I, I mean it with the utmost respect, but he is probably physically one of the least attractive people I have ever seen in my entire life. Dude, okay, do something with a beard. You got this facial hair, you got facial hair here and here and here. Do something, trim it, shave it, you know, do something with it. His hair is here and there and everywhere. It's like, you gotta freaking get a haircut, do the beard, do something with the glasses, your outfit, keep losing some weight. And I hate to be all, you know, vain and whatnot, all about, about looks, but if we're gonna be honest, his morals and stuff like that, they aren't any better than his looks because we found out on this sneak peek of Night A Fiance The Single Life that not only are Vanessa and Colt, I guess, basically together at this point, because if you don't know, Colt has been begging Vanessa to basically be his girlfriend, and she's been saying no because she does not trust him, but the kicker and the catch that's just completely bizarre and strange is they have been together in a romantic fashion, but it's just the friends kind of a thing. They're not really dating, but they still are together, so it doesn't make any sense. But I believe at this point that now Colt and Vanessa are together in a relationship, and here's the crazy thing. They are, well, two crazy things. Number one, they're going out to dinner with guess who? Jess and Brian. Yes, 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 yes. The same Jess that Colt was dating. I mean, it's just like, could this get any stupider? Now, is it real? God only freaking knows. Is it fake? I don't. I'd be the last. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably fake. But Colt went to the cameras and said, look, I have some truth I need to confess to Jess. Why, I don't know, but he was, I had something I had to tell her, I want to sit her down, and her and her new husband, Brian, just moved here, and so I want to introduce her to Vanessa, yes, the same Vanessa that, that she absolutely hated, but he goes, I want to introduce her to her, and I want to formally apologize and tell her the truth of what actually went down, and you're probably wondering at home, okay, well, what went down? Okay, well, this is what went down. Colt said, in the 90 fiance tell-all, he did admit that he cheated on Jess with Vanessa, and he told Jess that he did a little something something with Vanessa after he came back from Brazil. However, that is not the truth because he admitted that actually what happened was before he went to Brazil and the entire time he was talking to Jess, he was doing a little something 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 with Vanessa. So it is just like, are you freaking kidding me? What is, I mean, I could just go off on a million points. Number one, Colt, why do you have to tell Jess? Really? Seriously? Why? It, I get it. You did something wrong. Maybe he had has this weight on his chest or on his shoulders that he wants to get off, but still it's like, why? Number two, why would Vanessa want to go? Vanessa, you are a side chick. You cheated. You did something wrong on national television on literally the most popular reality TV show right now. The whole world knows you cheated with probably one of the most unattractive men on this show. Why do you want to go meet the woman that you cheated on with? So it's like, it doesn't make any sense. And the third thing is, why did Jess and her new husband Brian agree to go on this dinner? That just tells me that 90 Day Fiance, the producers went to Vanessa and Colt and Jess and Brian and said, look y'all, we are paying you guys. And we do know for a fact that Jess and Brian do not make any money. They have no money. I have heard them say that there was an episode of 90 Day Fiance. It was, the, it was the show on Discovery Plus where you can keep up with the couples. And Jess and Brian were like, we don't make any money. We have no money. We're sleeping on an air mattress at their friend Carmen's house. They have no money. So for sure, if they are being employed by 90 Day Fiance, 90 Day Fiance just said, you have to go to dinner make some drama, and that is that. So for sure, if Jess was really this mad at Colt and this offended that he was doing God knows what behind her back with Vanessa, there's no way she'd go out to dinner with him. So it is a joke. It's ridiculous. We did get to see they're going to go out to dinner. And real quick, y'all, before I sign off for the day, we have two big 90 Fiance announcements. Number one, Alex and Lauren. Oh my God, you guys, they're having, drum roll please, not really that big of a shocker, they're having another baby. They just 
announced that they're expecting another baby. Woohoo! Woo woo! Congratulations! I wish them nothing but the best. They are pretty cute. I and mean, I will say one thing: their their first baby, their son, is freaking cute and adorable. So I wish them nothing but the best. They're having another baby, so congratulations to them. But we have another big news. It's kind of actually good and sad and kind of just weird. But that is Dean and Dean's woman. They, oh my God, they had their baby. There is a picture of the baby. The baby's name is Marshawn. They had the baby on, I think it was March 8th, and maybe 9th, I think it was not March 8th, I believe. And yeah, they had the baby. It was a miracle, you know, a gift from God. And the baby's name, like I said, is Marshawn, which that means, according to Dean, God is good or God is great, whatever. But they had the baby. They're very happy and ecstatic, and everyone's, the crowd goes crazy. But here's, so that's the good thing. That's the good news. We're happy. Yay, woo, 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 we're happy. But for the bad news, here's kind of the sad thing. If you go on to read, uh, Instagram, everything, there's nothing. Nothing is going on. He has not posted literally anything. Now, I could have missed it. I really don't think so, but I guess I could have missed maybe a little story or something. But as far as I can see, their communication, a lot of people ask me, are they talking now? No. As far as I can see, honestly, they're not communicating. Uh, Tariq or Tariq, whatever, however, however you want to pronounce things, everyone pronounces it freaking different, but it, it, Tariq is how I'm going to pronounce it. And yeah, no, no one has posted anything. He has not said congratulations. He has not posted a picture. He has not done anything. And, you know, it's kind of honestly the same way with Dean, because if you don't know, Tariq and Hazel 100% get married. So it's like, he didn't post a congratulations. You know, Tariq didn't. They're not talking. It appears I could be wrong, but I'm pretty freaking confident they're not communicating at all. So it's just kind of a bummer. But Dean had the baby. Whoop, whoop. But for his relationship with his brother, not going very well. Well, guys, definitely thank you all so much for watching. I want to give you all a quick update. I am working on a handful of 90 Day Fiance, and actually, a a lot of other show interviews. I'm still trying to get Tammy and Amy, but I'm working on some side pieces with them. But my whole thing is, if you know anyone or if you have anyone that you want me to interview on this channel from 90 Day Fiance or another reality show like Married at First Sight or Loved or Lock Up or any other show, please make sure to honestly, I, well, you can you can put in the comments below, but if you really want to get my attention, shoot me a message on Instagram. I will definitely read that. So shoot me a message on Instagram if you want. I can check it out. Let me know if you have anyone I'm going to interview. I don't even know who else that would be good. I asked a couple other ones in the pipeline that are kind of interesting. So if you want me to interview anyone, like I said, please shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere else that's easy for y'all. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button, hit the comments below, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.